Well, hey everybody, it's Sandy and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about a couple of concerns that I hear from viewers about. One is claustrophobia with the mask and another has to do with which masks might offer more generous sizings. So I'm going to talk about that. I'll also tell you about some masks that I'm planning to review in the near future. And finally, I've got a request hoping that you guys will share some feedback in the comments section on something that interests me and hopefully other viewers. So let's get started. Well, first off, I just want to say thank you and welcome. I see I've got some new subscribers since the last time I put a video up. I'm always saying that's a little celebration every time I see it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I started this channel really as a public service, so I don't do any affiliate links. I just didn't want the room for bias that something like a commission would create. I announced recently that the channel crossed the 4,000 viewing hours threshold, and I'm so excited about that. So the next threshold is 1,000 subscribers and we're off. So yeah, thank you so much and welcome. Well, first off, I want to talk about the sizing in some of the masks. If there's one complaint I hear about sizing, it's that some of these masks, particularly the Sonovia, uh, really don't offer generous enough sizings. So let me just say that going forward, as I review more masks, I'm going to try to keep in mind which ones might be best for people who do need more generous sizing. I've looked back over the ones I've already reviewed, and I believe that in the fabric mask category, something like the space mask might be particularly a good fit for people who need a more generously sized mask. Space mask wasn't one that I wholeheartedly recommended when I did the review, largely because of its price point. It doesn't have a polypropylene layer, although that's not a non-starter. So generous was the sizing of space mask that they had to make a smaller mask in response to consumer demand because their regular size is just generous. So that might be a really good option for people who need the more generous sizing. Now, when it comes to more of a high-tech textile mask, a hybrid mask, I think that the Aeropec might be a better fit than any of the others that I have reviewed so far. The Living Guard is certainly a tighter fit, and the Synovia it was sort of the genesis of this conversation. And then finally, I will say that Synovia is offering now a larger size, an extra large mask. It's sort of a special order. Um, you will type the word Shuki in their comment section on your order. You can also communicate with Sonovia via the Messenger app embedded in their web page. So far, I've had one viewer that I know of who has ordered the extra large Sonovia size, and I haven't heard any feedback yet about how that's worked out. So if anybody out there has ordered the extra large size by Sonovia and you've had some experience with it already, please put some comments in the comment section because I know that a lot of viewers would find that just so helpful. So moving on, the other concern that I hear from people a lot is claustrophobia and what to do if you get that mask anxiety or claustrophobia that's induced by wearing a mask. And I have to say, I wish that I had a lot to offer on this and I don't. I have a couple of thoughts on it. I can tell you from a physiologic standpoint, there's nothing dangerous about wearing a mask. So when you feel like you can't catch your breath, um, I don't want to argue with the feeling, but certainly you're not in any physiologic danger. Your oxygen will not decrease. Your carbon dioxide will not increase substantially enough to cause you any kind of physiologic danger. But of course, that doesn't address this terrible feeling. As far as the masks that I've reviewed already, all things being equal, I think the ones that would be better for people who suffer with this problem might be the space mask for the reason that I just described above. It sort of has a looser fit. Um, the Aeropec mask among the hybrid masks might be a, a good option if you're looking for a hybrid mask and you feel more claustrophobic or tense from being closed in a mask. The Aeropec has sort of a lighter feel. I don't want to call it loose and I don't want to recommend a mask that's loose anyway, uh, but the Aeropec definitely had a very light feel on the face. And then also I think the Synovia might have a particular application here just because it is a so very light white fabric. As far as what to do about the problem itself. I've come up with a couple of suggestions that I could think of. This is getting a little bit out of the realm of my expertise, but one thing I thought of is maybe gradually introducing the mask. So maybe you just wear the mask for a minute or two on day one. Obviously, you have to have the time to try this like in your home. And then you take it off and then you do it at another time for just a, another minute or two and just add the time gradually. Uh, of course, when you're going out and you have to wear a mask, you might want to see if you can't limit your trips to just short duration while you're getting used to a mask. I thought that maybe some people would find it helpful to get used to it gradually. You know, the other thing I thought of, and if somebody's 
If I have any viewers out there who have any background in psychology, please feel free to put something in the comment box. Um, but I was just thinking back to when one of my children was very young and had a fear of dogs. And a child psychologist told us at the time to try to introduce her to dogs while introducing something else that was going to create some pleasant feelings. So for example, maybe she would look at a picture of a dog or maybe see a dog from a safe distance and then slip her a piece of candy. So it would kind of get the feelings mixed up a little bit. I don't know how you would translate this with wearing a mask, but maybe you can decide that you're going to, for those first couple of minutes that you're wearing the mask, do something that is pleasantly distracting. So maybe you have a video game that you enjoy doing, or maybe you have a project that you enjoy working on, and you're going to do that for those couple of minutes when you're first wearing the mask and introducing it gradually. I don't know. Let me know. I wish I had more that I could help with on that. I am going to start looking at that going forward so that as I review more masks, thinking about which ones might be particularly suitable or at least more suitable than others with this condition in mind. And that brings me to an announcement that I've got a few masks that I'm planning to review shortly. I'm planning to review a mask that was recommended by one of the viewers. It's by Germless Products. Another one is the Viral Off mask by Everbrand. So that Viral Off technology is used in a mask I've already reviewed and I reviewed, referred to in this video, and that is the Aeropec mask, but apparently many manufacturers are now using Viral Off's product and incorporating it into their masks, including Everbrand. So I'm looking forward to reviewing that one as well. And then finally, Giftington has a new fabric mask out and I've been sorely lacking in the realm of fabric masks so I'm really looking forward to reviewing those soon. I haven't received them yet so I will keep you posted. And then finally I wanted to ask viewers to share with me their experiences with back to school. The back to school rush was part of the genesis of the previous video that I put online which had to do with how to choose a mask. I got such an uptick in requests to help people brainstorm about what mask might work for them in preparation to going back to school. I heard from parents, I heard from teachers, and I would love to hear the after story. So how did it work out? Did something work well? Did something not work well? Did you think of a way to improve on something that you'd already thought about going in and just what are things looking like and how's it going i would love to hear from you guys on that and i'm sure a lot of viewers would find that so helpful so once again i'm so excited about the channel's growth thank you and welcome and until next time be well bye bye